hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl manny kenny again if you are new here you're very welcome for really part of this fam i appreciate you guys as usual if you are new here click that subscribe button and join the family for more videos like this it's manny kenny so today i am going to be showing you guys something that i have been searching for solutions for for a long time and that is how to bleach the knots of a synthetic wig um you know that synthetic wig is not human hair so you cannot bleach it with normal you know hair bleach um but i did this last time i wore my synthetic wig for two weeks and um it looked good so i decided to share it with you guys first of all let me let me show you the wig i'll be working with today this wig is from clemmy Lux hair this is how it comes let me take out this package this wig is just the perfect curl parting okay this is a curl pattern that I've always wanted to have. It's a bit hard to get this pattern in human hair. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I want it. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the hair. I really, really love this beautiful curl pattern. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. This wig is a 13 by 4. So I will show you the inside right here. So it has a 13 by 4 lace and this is I think 26 or 28, I think 28 inches long. Um, I will check that again and write it somewhere on the screen. But yeah, the hair feels, it looks and feels like human hair. Like when I got this hair, I was like, what? Is this really synthetic? Because what? This wig is actually from Clemmy Lux hair. Clemmy Lux hair is my baby. Okay. so. We strive to provide really quality hair, whether it is human hair or synthetic hair, but the top qualities for really affordable prices. And when I finally was able to come up with such good hair at such low prices, I was like, I have to share it with you guys. But anyway, so um, in the previous video, you see me wearing one of our synthetic wig collection. It's called the... Yeah. It's called the Flawless Illusion Collection with really top quality synthetic fiber that looks and feels like that looks and feels like human hair. So yeah, without further ado, let me show you guys how I will bleach this knots. And I think I'm going to switch to a voiceover now because my boy is active and he's screaming in the background. <laughs> Well, since I was not able to show you guys the wig completely, this is it again. And you can see how beautiful this curl pattern is. I really love it. I cannot wait to wear this wig. <laughs> anyway, so this is the back again for you to see. This looks and really feels like human hair. Little to no tangling, like minimal tangling for synthetic. It's wow. Anyway, so that's the hair. Now let me show you how these knots look before I bleach them. So you can see the knots i'm putting it on my hand so you can see exactly all those little black dots and we are going to get rid of that right now all you need is a canvas head a good foundation that matches your skin and a thick application brush so i have two brushes here because i wasn't sure which one will work first you want to wear the wig on the canvas head like this so that it is snug so that you have a good working space and then after that i pull the hair not too hard but i pull it hard enough to make way just because i don't want the hair to get stained by the foundation which even if it does get stained you can clean it up later on but yeah so this is the construction of the wig you can see there are combs two combs on the side one in the back to you know make it snug on your head so now i'm just going in with my foundation on the hair i decided to change the brush because that this brush is a bit denser and I think you would do a better job. So what you are supposed to be doing is actually pressing the foundation into the lace. And um, I think I switched my brush again because <laughs> I wasn't sure which one worked better. And I kept switching back and forth. But I ended up using this thicker one, this denser one. So after putting it, you know, pushing the product in and, you know, going over the whole lace i decided to see what it's giving after making sure it's a bit dry i will now try it on my hand again to make sure that the knots have disappeared and i'll show you guys what it looks it really looks way better than before but 
let me show you guys <laughs> you can see that the knots have disappeared a little bit but it's not yet perfect this is a before and after you can definitely see the difference and what i love with this technique is that at the same time i'm tinting my lace so i'm bleaching the knot and tinting the lace at the same time so that was not okay for me or that was not enough so i went back put the wig back on that canvas head and added more product so you can do this step by step till you are satisfied with the coverage so what you're doing is you're pressing the foundation into the knots so that it would color them and make them you know disappear pretty much um so you're not just tinting the lace when i'm tinting the lace i just apply a light amount of foundation or powder to my lace but now i'm intentionally putting a lot of foundation so i'm pressing in as much foundation as i can without going overboard and so you just do that all over the lace and after doing that you wait for it to dry you can use the hair dryer for this method i advise you to use a thicker consistency foundation if it's too liquid it will run through and it will stain your hair too much and you'd not want that so go for a creamy foundation not too thick and not too light um weight not too liquid anyway so after doing that and i felt like it was enough I decided to test it again on my hand and make sure that I'm not seeing those knots. And this is what it's giving. I will show you guys the before again so you can see a side by side comparison. But this is definitely looking like scalp. Like what is happening? <laughs> Just look at this. Can, can you see this? This is giving scalpiana. This is the before. You can see that ashiness a little bit. And this is looking like this hair is growing from someone's scalp, okay? I cannot wait to place this on my head because it's calling my name. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this method, which after trying a few different things, this actually is what worked and I decided to share with you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Please, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and follow me on all of my social media, TikTok, Instagram. I'll put my social media links in the caption of this video. So follow me on my social media pages and let's connect. I love this method because like I said, it's a two-in-one method. It will bleach the knots and tint your lace for you for free. Okay, free 99. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new and you tried this method. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. Bye.